Like this cool table? In this video, learn how you can make it. This is an outdoor table and you can use any materials that are rated for your climate. We have sourced where you can get these cool bases. And in this video, like all of our videos, there's tons of tips and tricks to help you along the way. Kim wants to mosaic this tabletop. And so the first thing I need to do is help her prepare a proper substrate. So I have my measuring tape and I am moving it around in the center of this tray to the widest point. And I see that the widest point is 16 and a half inches. There's lots of ways you can arrive at making a template. You could just try laying the tray or the tabletop, depending what it is, and draw around it and eyeball cutting to the center. I personally like to have a paper template and I'll show you why. I've cut my paper template and now let's lay this in here. Fits pretty good. It's a little tightish, but I can make that work. I'm now going to use this template to draw on my proper substrate. In this case, we're using some weedy board. I'm going to draw on here and I'll show you how we cut this out. Okay, so we're cutting out the circle. We drew it on with our template like you saw before. With a jigsaw, it could be way faster than using a box cutter, but be clear, you can use a box cutter to cut this down. And if you notice, I have a blade in my jigsaw that doesn't have teeth, and that's on purpose. If we don't have the teeth, this is a diamond bit, it's really for cutting ceramic, we'll get a much cleaner cut. Always safety first, right? We want to wear a mask, glasses, and I'm going to finish up cutting this circle out. Notice there's no marker because I cut to the inside line of the marker. That way I, I am insured of having enough space for this to fit perfectly into the tray. Hey Bonnie, what you doing? I got your substrate for you there, little lady. Oh, look at that. Perfect job. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taping off the edges to protect the table while I'm working and I just wanted to give you a little hint about how to get a clean line because taping around circles is never easy. So if you can notice, I've over taped it with tape wider than the edge. And now I just take my utility knife. Oh, shoot. This was really the wrong place to stop, Kim. And follow the e What happened? I was doing so well. Stop. Now you can see I I have it all taped off. I protected the edge so I won't scratch it up while I'm working. And we have a really clean, nice line around here for working up to. I really like this tabletop because I know it's going to protect the edges of my mosaic. But I want to use it for outside. And I realized that if I just put my mosaic in here, it's going to fill up with water and be more like a bird bath than a mosaic table. So this is why. We cut a piece of weedy board to go inside and um, I'm going to use this ta this tile which is only an eighth of an inch thick and you see it's still not going to come up level and really what I want to do is get level so the water runs off and so in a minute I'm going to show you some tricks for raising it up level and how we can use it outside. If you notice I put marks where I'm going to attach my fasteners and I like to use a clamp because uh, I'm most of the time working by myself so I don't have anyone to hold it for me. I'm also just going to make a little mark that goes from my taped edge onto here so that I'm not spinning it around trying to figure out where I need to put it back into so that all my holes line up. The exact location of these holes, like I measured them loosely, um, isn't important. It's just that they're spread out to hold the surface in and four is plenty for the small of a surface. And we are doing it this way for two reasons. One, to get it up to level and two, that if anything ever happens to this table, you'll be able to take this weedy board out and save your mosaic for another application. All right, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about all the hardware I'm going to use to uh, pull this off. One T-nuts, 
uh, which you're probably maybe familiar with, which we're going to put in the weedy board. And then we have our screws. I bought stainless steel so they don't rust. And then we have these are called fender washers. And I'm going to use these like shims to adjust the height of the weedy board to be just what I need so that the water will run off. So now I have all four of my T-nuts in and I'm just going to bang them into place a little deeper so that they're flush with the top and we can tile right over them. And don't worry that this crinkled up. Our thin set will fill that all in. You just really want them to be level with the weedy surface. I decided that I'm going to drill a fifth hole so that any moisture that does accumulate in between the board and the tabletop can drain out. Okay, I'm just putting a screw in each one of the holes and I'm putting a piece of tape over it. And then our screws are set through and I have determined in this particular case, it's gonna take four washers to get to the correct height for the material I'm using. Now we have all of our washers on. Oh, hopefully I can line this up. All right. And now we can get our T-nuts started on. It's going to take a little work just to get them to screw on a couple of threads for each one. So I have these each threaded on a couple, couple of turns. Now I can take this off and it will hold together and we can tighten the T-nuts up. I'm just holding the other side with my finger so that it doesn't spin. And now we have it mounted in and the tiles level with the rim. I like to uh, work and design with chalk. We don't have to make it complicated. Um, a lot of people are looking for patterns, but really all we need is a few lines and I'm going with um, sort of a 50s postmodern theme on this one. So I'm just gonna draw some lines with my chalk and I'm gonna do some fish. So, you know, that are just like kind of fun fish. Yeah, I think it's kind of cute. Okay, I have my table all laid out, my colors laid out. I kind of notated what's going where. Um, selected my vitreous glass tiles. So I'm just going to get gluing. I have the my thin set in my Ziploc bag. We have another video that shows you about that and uh, I'm ready to get gluing. So I decided I'm going to do a little grid and andamento back here and instead of laying each individual tile since my tile already came mounted on film, I'm going to try and gauge where this needs to lay out and just trace my cut loosely right on the film. Oh my goodness. There we go. And now I can mark the other end.
remember that there's places where I use the film and you'll see I put little markers on it so that I don't really forget them and I can see where they are and this needs to be done the next day or two days later at the end of the project otherwise you'll pull the tiles up and like always when removing tape it's always good to pull it back on itself we're all ready to grout and you can go and look at our other videos to see how to safely mix grout and um, get it ready for your project and uh, we'll be back in a few with a finished table Like everyone, I'm a little impatient when it comes to grouting, and the hard part is now, when it looks like a big mess, to just leave it so that the grout has a chance to start curing a little bit and before we start to clean it up more. I uh, sprinkled some dry grout powder, the same color as what I used, over the top. And it seems what happens is that it works like kind of an abrasive to clean up your tile without really uh, affecting the grout color and without adding additional water. So now I'm getting ready to pull the tape off and see if there's any areas I might need to fix around the rim. And I'm just going around and touching those couple of little spots up. But really there's only these two spots I can tell. Always a problem when making a table is we try to do it on a piece of plywood or e weedy board, but there's nothing to protect the edges. So I really like this. It frames the mosaic well and um, is easy to work on and sets nicely on this little base. And we have a link in the description below where you can purchase tables. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces.